not your typical bromance. Broadcasting across the world. world. Live from Central Florida with news stories, current events, social media news, and real life shit. Even Karen rant worthy shit. Bro rants. And welcome back to another Bye Monday on the Bro Ranch Show. Monday, Monday, Monday. Bro Ranch Monday. That's really good. That's actually better than what you did last week. Last week was a little suspect, man. I didn't know who I was dealing with. And it's a lot of Mondays in your Monday morning. <laughs> well, you know, you know, people are waking up, you know, checking us out. So I want to liven them up. I want to wake them up. You want to wake them up? I. I, do. I respect that, yeah, and I, I get that. But rather than a, better, better, better than a rooster, better than a rooster. But you, I, it probably is kind of on the rooster level because you repeat Monday, Monday, Monday a lot. Monday, Monday, Monday. One more time. Ah, uh, Monday, 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 bro rants. Is that better? Say it again, but not like Billy D. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, bro rants. Uh, okay, Coke Monday, five. Monday. Monday, Monday, bro. That's like eighty-five Monday. Monday, <laughs> <So> you good? <laughs> you must be good, man. How was your weekend? It was amazing. My weekend was really amazing. Um, let me tell you. Okay, so we had, we celebrated a birthday for my for Andrew. He's eleven years old now. Okay, eleven years old. Eleven years old. Oh wow, man! Yes. This is milestones being made over here. Next year's going to middle school, but sweetest kid ever, man. Okay, for his birthday. Well, I'm divorced, so uh, Andrew has never experienced a birthday with his mom and dad to- okay. together. For this birthday, for some reason, he asked, can we have a birthday together, mom and dad, and no arguing for a day? Cause, wow. Because he's, he's, he's seen us all. argue before, so. Yeah. And so, you know, he, he didn't ask for a bike. He didn't yeah. ask for clothes or money or nothing. He said that's what he wanted. Wow. Dude, that, you know what? That's so awesome because it's almost like the Christmas story when they're like, Santa, I just want my mom and dad to get along. <laughs> they're like, can you just bring mom and dad together, please, Santa? Dude, that's just like so, uh, so amazingly how, sweet. Yeah. So how, how do you not grant that wish? So, you know. Yeah. So his mom and I, we got together and uh, we made that happen for him. So we took him to Universal for his birthday. Oh, that's, pretty, that's pretty damn yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, it was a great time. We no arguments. It was it was good. It was great. Also, yeah. Uh, Ray Ray. Okay. And for those who don't know, Ray Ray is Ray Junior. <laughs> actually, he's a third. That's he's a third. Oh, he's so third. it's Ray Ray Ray. Yeah, Ray Ray Ray. <laughs> Ray the third. Uh-huh. So he's on his team. Well, he made the first cut for his team. We don't know if he made the final cut. Okay, so yeah, you were talk, You were telling me about this off air. Please explain because you were saying that he made the team, and then you were saying it was three of him in the bubble. And only thing I know about the bubble is post uh, or mid COVID nineteen when the NBA and the NFL and stuff had to play stuff. Well, the NFL didn't play in a bubble, but the NBA played in a bubble. That's right. Okay. So what happened was they're supposed to do a cut on Friday. Okay. But because it's coming up a spring break, uh, the kids that well the coach had to make a decision quick. Okay, so he made a decision today, but it's not a final decision because this is according to Ray. So he so let's say they had twenty kids, he cut eight. Okay, he got twelve left. Let's say he only needs ten nine for the team. Nine, all right, all right. right? Okay. So there's three guys that he, you know, he has to decide who he wants, who he doesn't want. So he has to watch them play, see who works well together, see who meshes, see what what players really play well together. Okay. Because a team is about it isn't about one one person. It's about choose gelling and camaraderie. Right. Yeah. 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 So Absolutely. it's so um, that's what's going on. But listen, I tell you this. Okay. I gave my son some advice. The other day he came home. He wasn't really too happy because he got blocked by a guy. That was the last play of the game, and he felt real down, and he yeah. felt like he wasn't doing his part. And I say, son, it's not what you do. It's not what you do before the block. It's what you do after the block. 
Okay. Do you keep your head up and keep on moving to the next play, or do you just put your head down and, and let that be the end of it? No, you, 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 you put your head up and play hard. Okay. So what I did was I told him, I said, hey, from this point on, when you go to, when you go to the practice, play defense like, mm-hmm. like, like you're – like the guy you playing against, yeah, yeah. Like he is your twin brother, and you have to be with him the whole time. Like you're conjoined. I said, play him from beginning to end. Conjoined at the hips, right? Not, yes. not okay. Yes, yes. Make sure. And <laughs> it makes you, hey, it makes you, you make everything difficult for him. I said, coaches nice. like that. They like defense wins games, bro. Yes. Yeah, people like that because it, it, it shows. Uh, well, it shows grit. It shows grit and, and defense. No one wants to play that because you're playing that. 90% of the game and most people, most kids these days, let's, let's just admit it. They, they want to, they want to be the hero. They want to be the baller. They want to do all the crossovers and, and they want to uh, shoot threes like Steph. Come on. Like keep, Steph keep and, it real. and James Harden. Yeah. And not play defense like James Harden. <laughs> he has his moments, but hey, Hartman playing some defense, bro. Cause the Nets probably, cause he's probably Durant's like, yo, you got to play. Some defense, <laughs> damn it. Or, or Steve Nash probably tell him, you got to play some damn defense. Well, they, they know that's how they win championships. Uh yeah yeah um speaking of my weekend yeah uh, we, about your weekend. yeah my weekend we relaxed um relaxed out the girls had you know they're doing their um spring break thing which is crazy I mean we got got some daughters that are doing their own thing so me and the wife are like you know it's almost it's seriously like the past couple of years it's been empty nest because they've had their own lives that's great minus the COVID thing the COVID brought us all in the same nest it was like okay we were loving each other the first uh couple of months and then all of a sudden it was like driving each other crazy um but so we just relaxed um went out to go eat dinner and uh relaxed out back in the hot tub and 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 uh with the the cat and dog with phoenix and and storm so that, that's our ba- you know that's our babies now you know gotcha hey so what do you have against t- uh talking on the phone why what do you mean you know when I when I when I text you, you always have an issue. You want me dude, to- it's like I'll put it this way: since I constantly do that throughout the day, I got you. So I, it's like I assume uh, that, I, yeah. So it's like, whoosa, you know what I mean? So it's it's it, I, I like to more so I converse a lot via text too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, was, I, I know you don't like to text a whole thing. I I convert to that, or I, sometimes I do the voice mail message like. You you talk da, 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 leave a message that way on the WhatsApp. I do that sometimes on WhatsApp. The the reason the reason I don't like doing it is because most of the time I'm driving. Yeah, but you voice text too. Yes, but it makes you no. I decipher good. I'm good at deci- deciphering typos. I'm, I'm not good at deciphering. I gotta like what? what, what I decipher. What? I decipher. Yo, it's funny because Kate Dad he he'll sit there and vo- voice text her and she's like, "What the hell? Get, you know, get the sardine out of the what? You know." <laughs> Of the car, what? So it doesn't ever make sense. And he just learned technology. The fact that this man is a voice texting at 72 is f- ridiculous. Um, cause he won't, you know, he's like, um, he just started talking to the phone, you know, before that he didn't talk to Siri. No, he was, he was afraid of it. He just didn't know. You're like, here's the thing. <laughs> Her parents would get like, you know, they get these cars that have the map and GPS and Bluetooth. Right. And they lease them out. And then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, can you hook it up? Hook, hook it up?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know, her dad would be driving. He's like, oh, I hate this driver assistant. Oh, but I like it because he's one of these people that will sit there and write notes while he's driving, and the, f- the car will be swerving. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I followed him before. What'd you say? He's a get kind of person. I'm behind. I'm like, oh yeah, he's texting while he's, he's driving. The, well, he, yeah. he don't even text. He writes. He's old school. This dude would not touch a laptop. Uh-huh. He, he was like, I'm not converting. No, no laptop." Uh, even though like, uh, the rest of the insurance world is like, no, you have to, you know, tablet and whatnot. And, and, uh, you know, my mother in law, she's tried to convert him to, to getting a laptop because, you know, not a laptop, but a tablet because it's more suitable right. than a laptop and, and dealing with that. But he's not done it. But so the fact that he's voice texting right now, because like I said, they would have these navigations and I'm like, that's gross. Put the navigation, put the address in the navigation will get you there. That's growth for him. And he's like on the phone and Kate's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm driving right now. But you have Bluetooth <laughs> in the car. <laughs> Enable Bluetooth. And it's like, oh so it, it, you know, it's funny because he'd be like, hey, um, you know, you'd be like, you and you guys can come over and set, <laughs> set up the car, set up the, the stuff. So it's uh, the fact that he voice texts, I mean, she, def- she, she deciphers it. But it's, it's funny the fact that, you know, he's finally um, 
taking that leap of faith. He's like me and Instagram then, right? He's kind of like that. He's well, like, you, oh, <laughs> this, so this dude was like, Reg, I don't know Instagram or anything like that, but I'm, I'm learning from my, my daughters, you know, and I'm like, and Kaylee, she, my youngest, Egypt, uh, she helps me out here and there when she's, when she's around. Um, but Kaylee, she's my go-to more so. I'm like, Kaylee, she's like, what? I'm like, hey, how do you put music to the story? <laughs> it's not like Bill Cosby. How do you put the music to the story? Um, hey, and she's be like, oh my, cancel. All right. And she's like, she's like, every time she's like, <laughs> she, she starts laughing. I'm like, man, come on, just teach me. Right. Um, so she, she helps me with that. So Ray, Ray's, Ray's like, hey, I'm like, oh, Ray, you got the shirts, man. He sent me this picture. And I'm like, yo, post it and tag me in it with the hoodie. <laughs> you know, the merch. And you guys need to check out the merch and check oh. out the merches on the uh, platforms that I'll, that we'll say right after. And Ray's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So this dude sent me some private messages. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Add me to the story and I can grab back and pick it up. I thought I did. I thought He's I like, did. I'm trying. I've been trying for 15 minutes. All I'm hearing in my man, I'm like old. <laughs> I'm like old. I'm like all I'm hearing is Kate's dad in my ear, and I'm like this dude is old. Uh, oh, I'm man. like and then, so. Monday comes around and he's like, or Tuesday, whatever. Monday or Tuesday, he's like, oh, I'm in the area. Um, I'll stop off after I drop Ray off to his, to his basketball. I need, and a, I'll, I need a tutorial. I'll stop by your house, and I'm like, huh? I'll stop by so you can show me. Yeah, you know. Bruh. Hey, time is limited, man. Might as well go get, get a tutor. Bruh. Right, get a chance. It was crazy. It was like me. <laughs> it was, picture this. It was like me teaching my grandmother how to, oh. how to use a phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, mama, mama, you're going to have to press this button. <laughs> oh, what's that? What, what, is that? what does that do? No. Yeah, if you, okay. It's digital, right? So you're going to have to, it's the touch screen, mama. You, no, no, no. I don't need all that. I just need the, 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 the rotary. So it was like that. He got through it. Wasn't that bad, people. No, no. But and then Raymond leaves with all this confidence. Oh, I got it. Oh, I I got it now. And he's he's one of the people that you you give him a little inch, and then the dude is like, I got this shit, and he's walking away overly confident. No, no, you don't need to teach me anymore. I got. I'm like Raymond, but you got this one more. Ah, I got it. I got it from now on. Needless to say, I have not seen (laughs) that post because I think he. Didn't do it. He didn't. Yeah, exactly. He's laughing because it's facts. Because what happened? You missed um, the last step. You're can- right. Cancer culture. Cancer culture. <laughs> so speaking of, um, definitely start checking us out on our handles, man. Because you guys. Yes, our handles. On bro. YouTube, we are Bro Rants uh, podcast. podcast on YouTube. Yep. And I, I, it, it didn't dawn on me that you guys are the same people that watch us on YouTube. At all, you know, because because we, when we were doing the paranormal stuff, I was like, we never said, "Hey guys, check out the videos on our YouTube channels." You guys just heard us talking about this evidence and 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 with the um, paranormal investigators of New England, right, and, right. as well as uh, Kelly Unexplained. So none of you, you, you know, you guys didn't even see any of the evidence. And not only that, when we had the interview with. Um, Trey Henderson with Tyrone Magnus. All this stuff is on the YouTube channel, guys. So if you guys like the visuals. A lot of content. A lot of content. Check that out. And if yes. you guys follow us on the Instagram handle, bro rants underscore. I mean, bro underscore rants underscore podcast. Exactly. And yep. the, the uh, Twitter handle, bro at bro underscore rants. Yes. So follow us, guys. And then check out the merch because Raymond got that for you on. That's going to be on bonfire.com. But look up Bro Ranch merchandise. Yeah, absolutely. Let me say that one more time. Bonfire, B O N F I R E dot com. Bro Ranch merchandise. And, you know, get your hoodie. I know it's getting kind of hot, but, you know, there's AC in the house. There's AC in, in places. You and we go. got t shirts. We got t shirts. We got t shirts. Tank, tank tops. Tank tops. We got tank tops coming out for the ladies, too, if the ladies are involved, because we got 25%. Listen to me. I'm very, I'm very proud of this because we had like the 15% percent mark and it's been growing so we've been hitting uh, something with these women 25 percent of our listeners now are women is that right absolutely we have the ladies we have the ladies 10 percent is non-binary so we love you too yeah um and the rest is the dudes okay but now we're hitting the range so we, we i mean we got a huge range man we got from um is it 18 to 22 to 60 plus is our range okay and our biggest listeners are the 25 to 34. 25 to 34. 34. Okay. And then right below that would be 35 to 40. Okay. 45 or 40, something like that. The people with the good credit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey. <laughs> what no hate on our people, man? Gosh, damn it. It's a uh, joke. It's a no. joke. Speaking <laughs> of, so cancel culture, man. Okay, guys. Um, let's be real. Let's hit this. Hey everyone, this is Reggie from ProRants. And if you haven't heard about Anchor by now, where have you been? No, seriously. It is the easiest way to make a podcast. And let me explain why. It's free. I mean, completely free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor will even distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more platforms. You can start making money from your podcast with no minimum listenership, which is great. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Does cancel culture need to be canceled? Or is it time to just hang up the rings and just move on from that? Has it gotten too far? Is it a beast that we no longer have a handle on? Do we need a cancel culture czar? Do we need a cancel culture? culture term limits do we do we need a cancel culture panel i mean we, is, we need, it's if we need rules is cancel culture appropriate is it i don't know especially it, in covid especially in covid times you know why because the cancel culture i mean people are already dealing with unemployment and stuff like that and losing their jobs and the cancel culture for those who who, who have these pedestals whatever they're losing their job over some might say justifiable. Some might say it's not justifiable. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's um, hard to say. It, it is hard to say. It's hard to say if it's valid, the reasons. Uh, it, but I guess that, that's what makes it so interesting as far as the cancel culture because you don't know what offends someone else. You don't. You right. don't because we're not privy to it. A lot of people are out of touch of, you know, what used to be considered funny – is, um, ten years ago is, is now considered offensive and and uh, borderline um, racist or borderline yeah uh, bigot borderline sexist borderline, borderline misogynist. Um, so there's a there's a there's a lot of uh, ways to interpret things now. So there's even, a lot of yeah even in, even in my household yeah. sometimes like I'll say you know something like. Uh, I, it's not even like um, it's more where I'm. I'm more like I'll say I make a comment. I I can't think of it right now for some reason, yeah. but it's something where I say something and, and oh the kids gosh. are like, the kids are just like, Dad, you can't say that. We oh, can't. Yeah. Say that. It's, or, or, oh, or, or my dad, gosh. Or, or dad, that's that's so harsh. Oh my girls, I'm like, if I'm like, hey, oh, thank you, my teens, right? So they're 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 teenagers, but they think they're women, and this has been going on ever since they were. Eight, six years old. I'm like, uh, guys, what are you wearing? That's kind of inappropriate. I don't like, oh, what are you doing? You're saying I'm a, that's really sexist of you. I'm a woman. And, and the oh fact that you objectify God. me like that, would you say you can't? So what if a guy wears, doesn't wear a t shirt out? And what do they say about that? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? First and foremost, bring it back and make sure you've taken your blue pill because I know you're on the red pill woke. <laughs> But please go back to the blue pill and realize where you're at because oh you're God. in this household and I'm your dad. And if I'm uncomfortable with whatever the hell you're wearing and I don't want guys hollering at my young. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I'm just I'm just turning into um, Bill Cosby today. My young daughters. I don't want them to holler at my young daughters. So that's <laughs> what I've been having to deal with constantly is like you said, it's either inappropriate it's either oh you're 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 a sexist dad because you don't think you know if i was a, a guy you wouldn't it wouldn't matter what i wear okay that's that may be true but at the end of the day you're not and you're my daughter and i don't want you being and, harassed and it's so hard it's so hard that they feel like you know a, a man can't say anything about what they wear anymore exactly it's like, because they want it if yes. a man if a man can go shirtless why can't i yes <laughs> Yes, 
and that's that's it. Yeah, if a man can go shirtless, why can't I? And I'm like, well, um, <laughs> gross, and uh, no. So I mean, because you you know that's kind of inappropriate. I wonder if I, I listen, ladies. Please comment. Let us know how you feel about that. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you think it's think it's okay for a, a a a man to go shirtless and a woman not to go shirtless? Yeah, are we wrong on this? Let us know. We we need to know. Are yeah, we, it, help, it, yeah, help us out. Would that change everything? Yeah. What if women went shirtless? Would that change how? Because now you're seeing everything. I mean, would it still be appealing, or would it be like how the porn industry now is free? So it's like free that it's like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we should go naked and afraid for everything. Naked and what? Naked, naked and afraid. Naked and afraid. There's a show. Yeah, I remember naked. that. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, so maybe we should do that for everything. I don't know, man. You know? I don't know if because there's always more to the imagination when it's covered up. It right? is. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, I do. I think I do. it's you know. I see my wife. I'm like, oh shit. You know, I I even though I know what's under there, uh, I'm like, it's still sexy as hell when she's when she's wearing stuff and it's, it complements her body and her curves and whatever. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, it it makes it more appealing, endearing, and, and alluring. But at the same time, yeah, that's you. Maybe someone else in the other side of the car might be like, "Less is better." Less is yeah, less is better, and I think less is better. More is better. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Because it's like I don't know. Uh, well, yeah. anyway, I don't want to get canceled on this <laughs> culture thing. I'm just giving about what I like. You know what I mean? Um, but. I think certain things like like we who basically determines whether you're worthy of being canceled. At first, it was like, okay, I can see what's happening. Uh, when you saw this stuff happening it, to me, when it was happening to the people that happened to be bigots and whatnot, um, and they were they they were getting caught offline. You know, they get caught saying things, or maybe when, when you when you're saying this, what are you talking about specifically right now? Right now, I can't think of anyone. There's been a lot of bigots. <laughs> Okay, what about the one? What about the one we talked about recently? The 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 news the the, the announcer Rowan um, yeah. that announcer that was caught in that uh, that game for saying the n word. Yeah. Okay. So was that a basketball game or a volleyball? That game? That was a basketball game. Basketball game, and it was uh, where the uh, uh, there was some they were doing the um, the national anthem, national anthem. So they and, took the knee, and some girls took the knee at the game, and the announcer was caught. I guess it was a hot mic. Yeah, and he just said. Uh, Something about he's like f and n words, n words, yeah, yeah. and uh, was like, and he said it a couple times, yeah, and and you know what, fuck you, Rowan, because you know what, you blamed it on diabetes one. My mom's got diabetes, <laughs> <laughs> and she's never called me. Well, she uh, might, she might have she diabetes. Might have called me, yeah, she, she <laughs> called me something, but she's not. <laughs> but how dare you, you blame it on the spike in diabetes and sugar? And it was during, dude, take care of your health. But here's the thing. I have, I have, so I have two things. Um, not dealing with this, but just the fact that it was caught on a hot mic. That's yes. his his fault for not pressing the button and muting himself. Mm-hmm. Um, so boom, that's on you. Because here's here's the thing: we all know there's racists out there. I'm not blind to it. I know people. They're closet racists. They're, they're there's cl- closet bigots. There's closet, you know, people that that hide it really well. I'd rather know that you are and then not. Yeah, me too. I know, know where I stand with people. That way I know whether, hey, do I put my money into this company or, or do in, in this person or even waste my time um, being friends with someone that thinks I'm shit yeah. um, behind closed doors. But there's another one. I mean, did you hear about the Kurt Franklin thing? I know you, I caught you off guard with that. Kurt Franklin, his no, son what, recorded what, what, him. What happened with Kurt Franklin? His son recorded him. I should probably just pull it up. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up. What are you trying to find right now? Okay, so there's a rescue bill called American Rescue Bill, and it includes farmers, um, and it also says people of color. And it's been it's like one point trillion, and out of one point trillion, I believe ten billion is going to farmers of people of color that have been discriminated. So there's from what I've I've heard and looked, there were like a, a million farmers back in the nineteen in the Jim Crow era, I believe. So I had a million farmers, and all of a sudden they were they were discriminated. So they end up losing. Um, there was a lot of bad practices happening because the big banks didn't want to touch them. So they would they would have to um, put up their their farms their their land as collateral to 
to use these big machineries from these companies, right? And oh. that's end up losing their land deeds because they couldn't afford it. Um, some of the stories that took place back then. So anyway, there's a lot of discriminations. The bank's not giving them money. And so this is uh, their way of, of giving money back to discriminated farmers. But they put you know people of color, which also include Hispanics, uh, Native Americans, blacks, right? And uh, Asian people. So uh, I'm going to play the clip so you can hear it. And a major provision in President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill that aims to address decades of discrimination against black, Hispanic, Native American and Asian American farmers who've historically been excluded from government agricultural programs. The American Rescue mm. Plan sets that? aside $10.4 billion dollars for agriculture support and allocates about half the funds to farmers of color who are, quote, subjected to racial or ethnic prejudice because of their identity as members of a group, unquote. The U.S. Commission on Civil Rights confirmed as long ago as 1965 the U.S. Department of Agriculture discriminated against black farmers, but little was done to address the problem. A hundred years ago? (laughs) Yeah, uh, most happy about the new policy, these people. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, buy a plow, man. I'm going to plant that corn. <laughs> go get a John Deere. Barack Obama, mother. I'm the president of plowing that ad. You. <laughs> I thought the last thing they would want to do is be farmers. Wasn't that a big problem yeah. for hundreds of years? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that why Arsenio yeah. Hall called himself the urban man's Johnny Carson? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Are people, <laughs> are people lining up out in the middle of Cornfield, Iowa for new dunks? <laughs> Uh, how would you prove <laughs> this, by the way? Like, how would you prove yeah. that you've been discriminated against? You don't against? have to. You just Well, I didn't say, get that loan. Me. Sir, you had no credit. Well, that should not have stopped me from getting the loan. Uh, I planted a henna seed tree, <laughs> but it's not growing. Well, I, well, technically, it did grow, but that shit ain't XO. Mm-mm. I put it in the ground. <laughs> I planted a VSOP XO tree. I'm getting in some niche esoteric cognac humor, motherfucker. <laughs> Um, Don't white people just go to their neighborhoods and build urban farms and ruin their <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Isn't that what how it works? In Detroit. Like, yeah. Turns out the, uh, the, 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 the soil content is a high level of meth. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, Whoa. Wow. I didn't know. That and teeth. There's <laughs> random teeth <laughs> littered teeth. everywhere. There's and uh, by the way, pain in my arugula. Steven Crowder. That's what it is. So whatever show he has. That should be canceled. What are your thoughts? Wow. Because I've never heard of him before. I've never heard of him either. So I was watching The Amazing Lucas. He brought that up on Twitter, and then he, he dropped the YouTube thing, and I'm like, whoa, how is this not even – how how nobody's even talking about this? Like, it's not on that level, but – Maybe he's not big enough, you know, it's under the Steven, radar. Steven Crowder? Yeah. Uh, well, the, the announcer wasn't big enough either. It, it just – to me, to, to go into the whole um, dialect and all that stuff, but here's the thing. You – that's how it is. Yeah, he's talking. He's talking as if we're not even good enough to to be able to get far. I mean, he's talking like we're. It's not even like he's making jokes. Yeah, he's talking like we're subhuman. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Sub subhuman and oh, farming. Well, uh, and then oh, I thought farming was an issue four hundred years ago. Like, whoa, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. You're yeah. trying to go there, and it's like, whoa. So these are some really undertone racial jokes here. Like you're talking about as far as. That was a choice, like he, he what, you know, and it's it, yeah. Go ahead. It was. It wasn't like it, nothing he said was funny I at mean, all. Like it, it was. I, I know what I mean. I listen to comedy before. I'm, I've listened to comedy all the time, but I'm just saying. I'm listening to him. I was just like, he's not making jokes where it's funny. He's he's really like pointing. Exactly. Like he's really denigrating. Exactly, and 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 they're all doing it in the room. So it's like, hey, to me, that's. They're showing their true colors, all of them that's in there. Well, it's his show, so they're following him. They're following him, but yeah. there's a way. It doesn't matter. If you following him, you guys are on the same wavelength, and yes. you're part of it. Sorry, it's that, that's just plain and simple. You yeah. are who you hang out with, and if you're working, who are, they all, you know, it, to me it looks like it's a podcast or something like that. That's what it looks like from, from the setup, that's right? That's what it looks like a podcast. So yeah. whoever's there, they do it because they love it. And, and, yeah, you get paid, but obviously everyone spoke and said something, even the engineer and whoever was in the background. All, everybody was part of the whole. the whole. Um, so you're saying that we should cancel racism? 
No, I don't say cancel racism. I I say Ra- racist should. shows. Um, what, what so when you? Say well, that? I'm saying someone that comes out like that. Like, here's the thing. Um, how long should it be canceled too? No, but here's the, uh, what I'm saying. Here is the way they went about it. Uh-huh. You know why I say that? Because they said people of color. Here's the thing. They're so tone deaf that they had one thing on their mind. They heard people of color and just start black. When the bill included all these other races, Hispanics, Asians, Native Americans, and blacks. So it was not one bill giving black farmers $10 million. $10 billion. It was giving all these other ethnicities as well. All right. they saw was one thing. And when they hear people of color, black, black. Oh, and oh, we're going to give, you, you know what I mean? Oh, we're going to, what What have you given? What, what What has been given anyway? <laughs> but I'm just, you know, I digress. But to me, it's like they picked one thing to go after. You know, if you think about it, though, his fan base might like that. They no, they no, absolutely, yeah. I'm sure they love that. I'm sure, but yeah. oh, Planet Hennessy and this, 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 and it's like, man, those are the people that I'm not racist. I have a black friend. That's the vibe you get from that. To me, like I said, I would rather know. That's good. I, you know, I'm glad that hey, that person's showing their true colors. I'd rather you that than like I said, hey, wave to me and say, oh, we're friends, and then you're going on air and. No, live mm-hmm. on your, your own suburbia, whatever, and in your own white picket fence, and with him, whoever your people are. But don't, don't, don't say, "Oh, I have a black friend. I have a, uh, I have a black, uh, you know, I have a, a black lawn guy." You know what I mean? Shit like that, right? I, I'm just shocked. I mean, I, when I heard that, I was like, "Whoa!" Like, yeah, he, it, he really was going in at. It. I mean, he and he they all were going in, and he but he's a mob. But he it was like he was like on like a tangent. On a tangent, and, and <laughs> like he, oh yeah, you know, and and, and then he had the voice and everything. Exactly. Like, wow. So it wasn't the first time. It was not it's, exactly. That's, that's inside jokes that they they crack, and it's you know what I mean. Like, like I said, there's a time and place for that. So yeah, if you want to so, go in the air like that, yeah, and you so expose on, yourself. So on his case, yeah, you say he should be canceled. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but for how long? I don't know, brother. I don't know. I don't. Know, I know how long. What's that guy say? 400 years. Yeah, about there. There we go. <laughs> I don't think 400 years. I'm just joking, but hey, it's hey, just getting back at I'm being sarcastic, but I'm just going to the extreme as they did. I mean, with that BS, and be very insensitive. Like I said, oh, farmers, didn't they have a problem with that? Yeah. They also had a problem with could uh, he, could Dustin he come Dawn back, working. Could huh? he come back from this? I don't. It, it all depends. I have no clue. To me, just like the other guy, they blame it on the diabetes. Oh, diabetes. And what he's going to say, oh, you're going to blame it on the Hennessy he didn't have or, or the bill, the rest of the bill he didn't read? I, I have no clue, man. Um, but to me, uh, you can't cancel out. You can't cancel racism, but people that are ignorant like that, that put themselves out there, um, you know, to me, racism will never be canceled. I, I've come to terms with that. It will take something on the of biblical proportions to cancel racism. I, I kind of like, yeah, I kind of like what um, Fallon had said in his response. What's that? He, I mean, he said, uh, I made a terrible mis- decision to do an impersonation of Chris Rock while in blackface. There is no excuse for this. I am very sorry for making this unquestionable offensive decision and thank all of you for holding me accountable. And then he goes and says, uh, let's see, uh, he also says, um, there is no excuse for this. No, there's no excuse. There you is remember, no excuse. You remember, okay, speaking of, he is a, a fan of comedy. So remember Ted Danson? He did it when he was with Whippy Goldberg, and he Ted. got canceled. He almost got destroyed for that. The guy with the white hair? Yeah, Ted Danson from Cheers. Okay, yes. He did that, the blackface thing, to honor her, and it was like, she didn't see any issue with. I mean, I don't know if she saw any issue with it because she was with him. They were dating. Didn't they date? Yeah, they were dating. I got you. So yeah. she did it, and so it's the same thing. Paying homage. So if I'm paying homage to you, I, you know, I'm with, I'm, I'm with, uh, I'm with Kate, and, and and you're with your wife. You, you are you gonna paint yourself white and say, "Hey, I love you, baby," and you know, just no, I'm not. I mean, you you you're aware. Yeah. So it's like, why why do that? So it, it's it doesn't make sense. It's it's. It's almost you're looking for the laugh, and here's the the laugh. The laugh is I'm black. 
you know, I'm paying myself black. So are you are you saying black is is comical? Right. You know what I mean when you do, I'm paying homage to you. Let me no. If you want to honor me with my words, honor me with uh, uh you know, if she's an actor, honor me with the scene I've done. But what do you do when your when your spouse is black and she gives you permission, or vice versa? Like I said, that's something you do in your own house. But when it's presented <laughs> to everyone else to see, it becomes everyone else's. It becomes a gift for everyone else to judge. Right, right. Just like any any projects, any thing that these artists do, mm-hmm. they put it out there. You want criticism. You're putting it out there for people to criticize. So uh, that's how I would see it. But he had it right. But remember. Uh, Kevin Hart. So, okay, here's the things I, too. I remember that. So one. the tweets and everything, um, like, he made it in a joke, you know, saying he'd beat his kid if he was playing with dolls or something, I recall, right? Something like that? Yeah, he kind of, yeah, he kind of, you know, the, the whole male ego thing of your, if you're, you know, if your son yeah. as a, a girl or acts kind of that way or something, then, yeah. I think he was like, if I ever catch Mike something, I would beat him with the, whatever he said. Um, and this would, these were tweets going back, and people found this. this is when he was supposed to be hosting the Emmy. So it was almost like cancel culture was like, "Yo, we we've been we not we haven't been liking him for a while. Let's go find something." Once he got that big, right? They bringing out stuff from was the, the Emmys or Oscar or something. I don't know. It was, it was one of those, yeah. right? And um, so they were he, like holding on to it, uh-huh. but, he, but he apologized. He didn't. He he he. I, did he apologize or he didn't? That's why he didn't do the show. I, I think because they wanted him to do it, and he was I, like, "I'm not going to apologize for something I said um, um, I years think, ago." I think he apologized, but they wanted him to do it again. Okay, and he's and like, he, "No." And he's like, "No, I've already done that. I want to. I wanted to die. Yeah, that was then. I'm more mature now. Exactly. And I want to move on. But they wanted to bring it back and make some kind of example. Yeah, exactly. So that's what. I, that's another question. See, we were, you know. Should you be judged on your past, even if you evolved and changed and matured, or should they be able to pull up, pull back things from your past that show you saying certain things? Because they've done that with a lot of people, either wh- whether it had been offensive to gender, race, um, sexuality, um, uh, trans folks, um, LBG community. So should you be judged even though you've changed since then? I believe that if a person has has genuinely changed, I say no, no, I, I shouldn't say, be judged. Right? If they yeah, genuinely change, because they, I mean, we all grow. Yeah, we all grow. I mean, no, some of us grow because <laughs> some people just stay studied where they're at and don't have yeah. any growth. Uh, don't have any growth in life. It's true because the way the the way Chris, I mean, uh, Kevin Hart was talking about, you know, if his son was playing with dolls and this and that, how he would act. That was kind of how I was taught too. I was taught that you know not to play you, with dolls. Yeah, you not to show, not to be feminine or whatever. Oh, your dad was like that. Well, in a in a yeah, that's how the society was. Really, you be to be super macho masculine. Seriously, Are you really? Yeah. Huh? Nah, we played GI Joe stuff when and when the girls not, came over. When the girls came over and they were like, "Yo, I remember because these used, to, used to be in New York and they had the uh, GI Joe's mm-hmm. dolls and." I mean, the girls wanted to play. It'd be like, "Yo, they bring their Barbies, yo." It'd be date. date yeah, night, but date, like, like you know, you know, you would say certain words you're not supposed to say, like you would call somebody a sissy, or oh, know, okay, you know, stuff oh, like that. Okay, and that the okay, yeah, that one terminology is no longer said. Yeah. So, yeah. um, but now as as you learn more, I'm more open to if my if my sons were a little bit feminine, feminine. Okay, I, w- I wouldn't. I would want them to be who they're going to be. Okay, you know what I mean? Like I'm not like. How I was back in the past. Okay, so you were like that more so, like yo, you ain't playing with noodles. So you were doing whatever. I would have, I would have been like, I w- that's how I would have been if I didn't, if I didn't evolve. Okay, if you didn't grow and start seeing things um, with an open mind, right? Less yeah. judgmental mm-hmm. and just see things as, and I think that's it, that could be something as a, a you know, a homophobic. So you're kind of afraid that because they're playing with dolls, they might end up in a certain direction. And you're like, so it's like almost the fear. You have because you know what society has done to that 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 that. that also, you you looking uh, at you looking group, at your, that group. Also, you looking at yourself as well. Like, you know, like how does how do you look? You know what I mean? Like, that's my son. So how? Why is my son like that? Or, okay, you know, or my daughter's like that. So uh-huh. what did I do wrong? Or what was mm-hmm. that? Is that from me? Is that gotcha. something something wrong with me? Something that side side that you that that you were hiding that it projected out on them. You're saying. It could be you okay. don't. I mean, it, it could be like as far as what did I do wrong or what am I? 
people people could look at me and think that I have that same issue. Got you. If it's if it's a, if it's an issue. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. No, I see what you're saying too. It's more so you, yeah, because you see yourself in your kids. Exactly. So you're like, oh, sh-, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. No, which I, I get. So, but why the thongs, right? <laughs> <laughs> because they fit. <laughs> they fit well. Oh, Ray said he liked playing with thongs in bas- with basketball. Yeah, I know Reggie like them they thongs. They don't ride up. Yeah, I know Reggie in them thongs. They don't ride up. <laughs> Oh man, it's so crazy because like who started this? I know the the Me Too movement. It, it you know it, it, it like I think it sparked this because it was like from yeah. there. Yeah, it, it, it like, kind of like it was like a spark to it. Yeah, I mean like a spark where yeah. like it just uh, perpetuated more. Yeah, and it, it just over it overflow. It, it, it I think it overflowed into the other categories of okay now, you know, women are being. Um, you know, finally being having a voice, and it's like, well, this has been happening to this for so long. The the um, LBGTQ community um, that they're speaking on it, like, like, oh, you know, you're you don't want me around, so it's, it turned into the new civil rights, right? You know, yeah. It's like, hey, you don't want us around, you don't want us, in, so it's so now you're just to be clear, we are not against women's rights, LBGT. LG, LGBTQT? LG, LBG. Is it LQGBT? LBG. Well, we're, we're not against uh, their rights as well. We're not against anyone's rights. We're just, all we're doing is talking about, uh, can it go too far? Can can the culture go too far as far as canceling, some, canceling someone because they made a comment, they had a thought, they they misspoke. They said things, you know. How far can it go? Yeah. So, no, we definitely don't. We're just speaking on the cancel culture and how how things have evolved. Yeah. And, and, just and want to be clear about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, who you are is who you are. Um, we have no we have no right to speak on anyone as far as being a minority. That's right. We don't. So, do you like cancel culture? culture? Have you ever been involved in cancel culture? No, I haven't been involved in cancel culture. Never got on, never seen something that's like, yeah, he should be canceled. Yeah. Hate, hate, you know, I don't know, uh, dislike, I don't know, some, made a comment. You've you never been a part of anything like that? Uh, oh, like in like a, some kind of Twitter beef where you saw something or? No. No. I don't. Okay. No. I just, I hear it from the populars, from the masses, and then you're like, okay, you judge, and you're like, well, yeah, that's not cool. I, I kind of feel like I'm at school, and like, um, um, there's like a fight, right, in school, and they come by your classroom, and they say, you didn't see the fight? I know. You know, I, no, I know wh- who was fighting? So-and-so was fighting. I'm like, oh, I missed it. I missed it again? Man. That's kind of how I feel like when it comes to this cancel culture. Like, I miss the whole back and forth, gotcha. what happened, who said yeah. it, when they happened. I'm like, oh, that happened. When, when did this happen? I, I just missed everything. <laughs> it's it, it is almost high school like ish. It, it has that type of elementary school type of uh, playground. Like, oh, this person did that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, what do we do next? Uh, to me, like, I mean, like I said with this guy. Okay, so going back to. What you consider cancel, like I said, the guy that did it on air, hot air, and it's exposed. Well, now you have players and everything that the reason they're kneeling is because of the injustice or whatever, right? So to have that still there, Mm -hmm. it's kind of wrong, especially when he feels that way about those people, right? You know what's crazy about that whole kneeling thing, though? Yeah. You know, a lot of folks didn't even know that Kaepernick, when he kneeled, they had no idea he kneeled because... A former Green Beret, who's a football player, a long snapper, had told him it would be better for him to kneel versus sitting on the bench. Oh, really? Yeah, like he didn't. He wasn't kneeling at first. Like he actually was just sitting on the bench, not mm. just not doing anything. Gotcha. And then uh, uh, a Green Beret, a yeah. long snapper named uh, I think it's Neil Burles, Neil Burleson. Yeah, came up to him and said, "Hey, you know what? In the military, we honor fallen soldiers by kneeling down." Oh, wow. Very, very so from that from that from, from that point on, yeah. he kneeled wow. as a sign of respect for mm-hmm. the soldiers to show respect, but at the same time showing that he's protesting wow. uh, 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 violence towards uh, blacks. Yeah, with the uh, police brutality. Yeah, and so from that point on, that's when it, that's when it actually spiraled out of control. Mm-hmm. Wow, from, from advice. 
Wow. Crazy, huh? Yeah, it's absolutely crazy the way the ori- the origins of it. Yeah. It's funny that people didn't even, I told somebody that and they were like cuz they were all against they were all they they were hating on Kaepernick. I yeah. mean, and I get it. I get how it looks. I get what they I get what they're saying, but when I told them the where it came from, yeah. He was like, "Wow." Yeah. I had no idea that's the reason why he was kneeling. Like they, they had no idea. Mm-hmm. So they 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 did they have more understanding? Standing in respect for him, or they still just hated to do like. Okay. Well, in in my presence, yeah, it seemed like he had they had more understanding, understanding. Okay, but when I left, yeah, I don't know what he was saying behind my back. Gotcha. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? Yeah, <laughs> I don't even care. He didn't know them, the fallen comrade. Oh, to sum this all up, though, we believe that the cancer culture is necessary, but at the same time, there has to be some kind of limit. It has to be term limits. <laughs> it has to be some type of rules, and uh, but who who makes the rules? Like who? Like who? Who will be the uh, the cancel culture ambassador? I don't know. Where we gotta <laughs> find them. They're like hidden. It's like a secret society, man. Uh, yeah. So my thoughts on that is, yeah, I think cancel culture is something that's probably you think that it should still proceed. Just with regulations and terms. Yeah, I mean, we, we it's it's effective. It works. I mean, but does it? Okay, okay. 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 Hung up the phone. I'll break your neck. Is that a threat? The whole thing was that was Kurt. That, that was Kurt. That was Kurt in the background. Yeah. Wow. So I have a, here's my issue with that. That should even be brought up. Why? Because he's he's talking to his his son. But here's the thing: it's a private conversation. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the public. Whatever happens in your household stays in your household, unless it's affecting. Someone inside your house, so like you know, domestic abuse and stuff like that. Ops, absolutely, let that let that let that out. Mm-hmm. So his son put that out. His son put it out, and you see him sitting there on the phone recording it. So he's recording it, it while it, while he has his phone. So he so basically, it's a setup. Yeah, it's so, so aggravated him. Huh? So I, I wonder, I wonder the stuff that his son owns, whatever he has. I don't I don't know his, I don't know his situation, but yeah. I'm sure I'm sure he's he, he taking care of his son, right? Uh, from what I understand, he's taking care of his son, but he's got – so his son's older. So Kurt Franklin has another family because he's separated from the, the, his old mother or whatever. So the son's older, and I guess he, he's had issues in the past. And mm-hmm. I don't know if it's whether it has anything to do with drugs. So I'm not going to go there. Um, but he's had things in the, the past, and he's been supporting him. So I guess the, the son's like, you're not supporting me enough, and he's taking care of his other family, you know, younger kids and whatnot. So – I don't know, you know, we don't get the the whole conversation. We just get 47 seconds of the end tail of a conversation where you can tell he's been he's had his buttons pushed. He's been baited. Yeah, he's, he's been, been baited. He's been baited. Absolutely. Uh-huh. So, so, I mean, if anyone should be canceled, it should be his son. So are people canceling Kurt Franklin right now? Well, they're trying to, but everyone's... Because he, because he cursed? Stuff, because he cursed and went and, on on his kid. And here's the thing. Kurt Franklin is not no... He's not a pastor, right? Right. He just makes... Uh, Music for yeah, the, just uh, gospel music, gospel music, yeah. And people think he's holier than than thou, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, <sighs> man. So things like that to me, things I, like that that you know, if you're caught on a hot mic, someone lets it out. That's different. You're at a professional place, like mm-hmm. they have done with other, um, you know, uh, political leaders that have been caught on a hot mic saying stuff that they shouldn't have been saying. Um, boom. Um, but someone baiting you to something. That shouldn't be canceled. We've we've all been in situations where we know, like we've said things we shouldn't say. Yeah, we've yeah. It, it's it's because because it, it's normal. We're human, so yeah, we, we're gonna say things we regret. And if anyone acts like, oh my gosh, Kurt Franklin said that, said you know he cursed or whatever, and he said this and that, you know, in your heart, 
You said some stuff too. You done the, you done some crazy things. You said some crazy things. If someone had a camera in your household, uh, absolutely, you know, or a recorder, you'll be busted too. So oh yeah. I, if you if you have teens, if you ha- I mean teenagers, we're talking not uh-huh. even not even toddlers. That's an adult. I mean, that's like a a twenty eight thirty something year old kid. I mean, at the end of the day, he's an adult. I think they said he's thirty two or something. At the end of the day, he's an adult. So just imagine. Um, I have teenage daughters, and they drive me through the, through the wall. Right, my wife and me, and we're just, you know, you have kids, you have teenagers, so it's like, I don't, I don't get why he recording him and putting him out like that. I mean, I just don't get that. It's like, to hurt him, obviously. Yeah, it's yeah, like he probably gonna... cut him off from money, oh. and at the end of the day, it's like I'm gonna get you. So you hurt me, I'm gonna I'm hurt, hurt your you. pockets yeah. now. Yeah, and I mean, here's the thing, he doesn't realize. I don't know what his name is, but we'll just say Kurt. Kurt Franklin Jr. Um, <laughs> Junior, you, you listening to this, Junior? You're doing it to the wrong community because the black, you know, the black folks are like, yeah, that damn right, he gave the right, he gave the right thing, you know, he told him the right thing, damn right. I, and I would look, and I would whoop his ass too. And that's what they're saying in the background, probably like, what? Uh, you know, they don't really care because it's that. Speaking of culture, but that's in the culture. You know, you put your kid back in, in into place. You know, this sounds a punk. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's. I think the setup is. You know, I think that's very Judas of him. Um, yeah, 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 punk. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't, I don't think write, your, write your daddy out like that for telling you get your mind right. Come oh on. yeah, trust me. We've. Had, I mean, I've had <laughs> get your mind. right. I've had my daughters, but oh, you can't think that we can call the cops. What? <laughs> call you, call a popo. <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. What? Call the popo. You, you can't. You can't do that because we, we we're protected. We can go what? Okay. Hey, you better pack them back. No, I it's get, not that. I was like, when uh, I get when I get back, you are gonna be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, the cop thing you're threatening me with. Okay. Uh, you, um, better, you better pack them back. I'm like, like, but how fast do you think they they get their response time is versus I'm here right now. <laughs> uh, that phone book don't leave marks. Just letting you know. The phone book doesn't leave marks. <laughs> Yo, this dude's an abuser. <laughs> Wow, Ray, I didn't know that side of you existed. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yo, Kara, you know, Kira, Kira, you all right? Let, yo, yo, let me uh, know. Let, <laughs> let us know. You don't have to let me know. Let Kate know. Oh, man. Let Kate know. I'll let you know how to reach her. Let her know if you, you know. Damn, that's what, so that's how you hide the bruises. <laughs> <laughs> she don't bruise too much. You uh, just hit up, hit her right below I, the armpit. I, I read that somewhere. I don't know where I read. You read it somewhere. I read it somewhere. Hey, the, Ike, the Ike Turner, Ike Turner, one on one, how to abuse your wife and, not, and get away with it. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Speaking of cancellations, um, so the people have been Gina Carano um, from the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. The, that you know what I mean. Um, I think what what's happening is. And she was canceled for what? For saying uh, 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 it had to do with the um, uh, comparing what's happening to the Republicans or um, people on the right that speak about you know speak about the the, the um, election and stuff being robbed and whatever uh, it, the way they're being canceled and whatnot and and treated and freedom of speech being taken away. It's almost like in comparison to what the Nazi did to the Jews. Okay. So people took offense to that. I mean, she said other tweets and stuff before that. And, you know, Disney was back in her and it's fine with it. No one, no one um, really, um, even though they were trying to get that, you know, the cancel culture were coming for the village people. Um, they let her get away with it. But as soon as she mentioned Jews, it was like, that's it. I mean, but she had finished her term with them anyway. It was her getting a new show. She was supposed to solely get a spinoff on, on for the Mandalorian with her character mm-hmm. because people like that character so I, much. I, like, I liked it. It was a good character. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 It was good. It was very. Yeah. It was very cool. Very. Because uh, I finally watched it after you told me, and I was like, "Oh shoot, okay, it's a good, it's a good show." Yeah, it was really good. I I, I binged it. Um, Look at you binging. You got time for that? No, I make time. <laughs> I, I binge while I work and stuff. Uh, I'm a multitasker. Um, and it, what, what what else you had? You had what? You said Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy um, Fallon for uh, you know yeah. giving homage to Chris Rock. He put on blackface. We got. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what do you think about that? The blackface thing. You know what? I'm listen. I understand. I, I've seen the videos from the past about the blackface. But like the way Jimmy Fallon did it, as far as you know, him giving homage to you know Chris Rock's favorite comedian, I, I don't take personal offense to it. I mean, 
I would have to ask Chris Rock how he felt about it, you know, because it's it really to him. I would have to ask him and say, hey, Chris, did you feel offended? And I think he's going to say no. Yeah, I hear you, but um, I don't know. You you feel kind of funny about that, right? Because they do the blackface, and I think in, in I think the uh, it's somewhere uh, they do the Dutch do or the Swedish. They have a blackface thing to do parade, and also the Asians do it too. Like they do plays and they make up black faces and they do this over superimposed lips. See when they okay when it's like that, I have a, I, I take I, I don't like that, but I'm just saying okay. Why is it okay for like a, a, a let's say a white guy gets gold teeth? Right? Yeah. You know who wears gold teeth. Okay. Okay. Or a white dude wearing baggy pants and sagging them. Okay. We know where that came from. All right. Yeah. All yeah. Right. So. Or him like, you know, talking in a way where he trying to he tries to sound like he's hip. Okay. Why is all that okay? But him trying to and but Chris Fallon, Jimmy Fallon saying, um, I want to look like Chris Chris Rock because, you know, I, I I like Chris Rock and he's he's my my favorite comedian. I want to be Chris Rock. Uh, I think because that's there's too, a there's a line. Yeah, I think there's a line crossed when you when you you know when you. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, you can be someone. You can imitate someone without actually getting a, a you know coloring yourself to do it. Because there's a lot of actors that don't do that. If Chris Rock didn't have a problem with it, would you be okay with it? If Chris Rock didn't have a problem with it, if if Chris Rock said, "Go ahead, go ahead, brother. It's it's, it's good." That's because he sees him as a friend, right? So it's like that's between them. But when it's put for everyone else, you've actually put that art for everyone else to decide now. Now you've given it out to the people. It's not like you went to a personal Chris Rock party. You're paying homage to him. That's in your private house. So if you put it on this. But but folks might get on Chris Rock and say, hey, you're allowing him. No, that's what I'm saying. So giving him a a pass. Yeah, exactly. But they, it might say you allowing him to bring down, bring down the community by him wearing that. Well, it ain't bringing down the community. It's just well, you give it's him- almost allowing the n word for anyone to say the n word. So it's almost like yo, if you allow that, then you open a gateway. You know how they say weed is a gateway drug. Well, if if you do that, it's like a gateway. Uh, like you, you're letting stuff open, and it's not. It's uncomfortable because okay. at the end of the I day, it's like wear this complexion and hey. We didn't choose to be this. We're, we the hand you dealt, and you mm-hmm. you deal with it. So it's like wow for you to jump in and jump out, and that's how most African Americans feel. Is people uh, love the culture, but don't want to be black. You know, it's like oh, I love it. I wear this, and then, but you play play. You know, you play dress up. You enjoy the culture, and when it comes to time to stand up for the people that created the culture, it's like uh, where's everyone at now? Right, where's where's your backbone at? Yeah, where, you know, where's everyone? At? You love the culture, but where's the support? Mm-hmm. So it, it's you, you know what I mean. So I think there's something deeper. It's it's deeper on the sur- you know deeper than what's on the surface below. You know, who if you would you cancel anyone? Um, would I cancel anyone? I don't I don't know, man. Because there's a lot of. Uh, I mean, if you uh, had if you if they said, dude, there was this guy. Uh, hold on, I gotta this. You look at this. Uh, I don't know. He's a, he's a right winger. Oh, he went berserk because he was going crazy. And I saw this shout out to uh, Amazing Lucas because he had posted it, and I was like, "What?" Um, who, who I don't was, know. Who was he's Amazing a Republic. Lucas? Amazing Lucas. Who's that? The Amazing Lucas. You don't ever watch. He's on YouTube and stuff. He, you don't. I don't. Really, I don't really have time. Oh man, he's great. You need to make time. See, I mean, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get. Like, All right. Shout out to Amazing yeah. Lucas because Reggie make time for you. Oh, love his love his show. Um, he's a real one. And he's a right winger, but he's he's been more so uh, ever since the Trump era and what's happened. You know, people he he speaks the truth, but he's more so, um, you know, Republican, a, a conservative Republican that so the party's gotten away from him. The party's more, gotten away. Hmm? He's more like a moderate or something, or just a true conservative or something. I don't know. Uh, he's a true conservative, but he's leaned le- more left or in the center. I got you because of what happened. This past with all this bullshit that's been happening with the Republican Party, how it's been getting away mm-hmm. and how it's no longer almost Republican. Like it's going to be uh, Trump. Uh, you know, Trump's going to have his own damn party. OK. And how, <laughs> how Trump's like, don't use my name. He cease and desist. You seen that? He was like, cease and desist. He was like, I don't want you guys using my name for your campaigns. 
No, I didn't see Trump. That. He was like, no, I want, you know, he was like, don't use my name. Speaking of of him, you were talking about Trump. Yeah, cancellation, the biggest one right there. Oh my gosh, yeah, they got. Hey, they said, dude, they said, Trump, I'm taking away your Twitter pass, <laughs> your Yo, Facebook pass, but brother. Like to me, <laughs> that's like that's that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's, it is crazy. It's beyond. It's it's nuts. Yeah, it's, it's, crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's it's. Like how long? Like That's how, your voice. Like how, how long you in timeout? Yeah. How long? You know? Do you get like a? Uh, you know? Because usually you go to timeout, you you have like two minutes, yeah, five minutes. Exactly. What what is this like? Uh, purgatory. Exactly. Because <laughs> to me, it's like if 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 it's happening to these. Here's the thing, because it's like when you open up Pandora's box, you got to be careful what you're opening up because it it's will, a slippery slope. It, yep, yeah. Exactly. Because then all of a sudden it's going to be well, I'm offended now. Well, we have like this very sensitive. Over Politic, politically correct, you, yes. Um, society now, like everything offends me. Mm-hmm. And when we grew up, hey, whatever thing you you swallow it and, and move on. Yeah, uh, I, I I remember growing up and I watched the Dave Chappelle show, right? Yeah, and then I watched it recently, just just a few episodes, right? And I said, oh, he will be canceled right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you need for all the stuff he was doing. People yeah, were, he will, people were loving it. Hey, it would be no. Oh right, right now. You yeah, would he be. would be. He would be oh. canceled right now. What it, about the special that he had? He had come out. Which one was this? Um, the special that he had with the you mentioned with the with the LBGT. Oh well, it, it wasn't recent, but I'm just saying they. No, he had that come out. Remember, he had that come out. He had a problem with them as far as no. Remember, he had the special. It was the, was it on um, Netflix, and everybody was like, "Oh no," because he was like, "Oh, you pick people up in the car," and he was talking about. The same thing, like about the cancel culture, like you know, did you you never watched that when he was like he referenced picking up L and then you pick up Q and then you pick no, up. No, no, oh I man, I gotta I gotta freaking play that stuff for you as well. I just seen the one where he was years ago where he had this um, his Mexican in the front row and uh, Asian woman in the front row and he was smoking a cigarette and he can tell she wasn't having a good time, but he was. Mm-hmm. And he asked him where they was from and she was like, "If you're asking about my ethnicity." Or something like that. I'm from L.A., but I'm Chinese. And the dude was like, the the, the husband who was having a good time, he was like, uh-huh. I'm Mexican, man. So, uh-huh. so, uh, <laughs> so you, he could tell that she was kind of irritated by him smoking because you know because she was pregnant. So all of a sudden, uh, she just kind of like he said a couple more things, and she got up and like was getting ready to leave or whatever. And uh, she was like, basically, like, I'm not, I'm never gonna watch a Dave Chappelle show ever again. And because <laughs> he told her, he told her basically, uh, <laughs> what you're gonna have the most hardest working baby in in, in the world cause, because he's Mexican and the little wife was <laughs> Chinese, and so oh, that that, no. that 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 offended her right there. I just told that joke all crazy because I'm not a comedian, but when Dave said it, it was pretty funny. My conclusion of this whole thing that's happened with the cancel culture is there is some goods and then bad, some pros and cons, like there's with anything. And there's an extremist. There's a, there's a point where we, the monster can get so big that it has no more, monit- there's no one monitoring it, that it takes a life of its own. It's almost like the raise, uh, not to get the raise against the machine, almost like the rise of the machines, like in Terminator and stuff that... If you don't get a handle on it, eventually you'll have the public, the people dictating everything Mm -hmm. that there will be no more freedom of speech and people can voice their opinions without being targeted. Because once you do that, if you dead comedy where comedians, I think comedians have the platform to make jokes. They do. Because they they should, because that gives us a break in society where we're like, oh, someone's making fun of it the satire of, of the ridiculousness of this or something that's very sensitive and making light of it that everyone can crack a joke because of the extreme of how we've taken it too too much. Uh, you know, you, you're taking it too serious. Yeah, going to comedy is where you can go and relax. Yeah. You can go have fun. Absolutely. You can let a load off. When you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you just say? Let a load off. <laughs> Raymond, <laughs> is that is that is that bad, bro? Let a load off, you know. Let let uh, you've had a long week. You got a load on, on your shoulder, like a 
You've had, yeah. And so you let the load off of pressure, stress, life. Let let the load. It just sounds very inappropriate. It goes, with, it? yeah, it goes am into I, that whole point. Am I getting ready? Am I, am I getting ready to get canceled, bro? I don't know, but where's uh, your mind at? No, my mind is fine and correct. Your mind, brother. <laughs> I, I Every want, time you picture, oh, rub here and rub whatever the hell, bro. I don't know who you were with today, and I, what are you watching when you're at home by yourself, bro? I'm watching good stuff. I'm watching um, <laughs> Joel Steen. I'm watching. Uh, uh, yo, get the Run. merch, guys! I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching Joel Steen. Check out. Don't forget to check out the merch. Yeah, BroRants.com, BroRants podcast, uh, Bonfire.com, BroRants merchandise. Follow us, guys. Leave and 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 donate. Hey, we Anchor has a thing where you can donate if you want, so we can get more content to you, more quality to you guys. But hey, thank you for listening, you guys. Hope you have a great rest of the week. And actually, make sure you tune in this Friday for our movie review. Yes. Bro Rants out. We thank you. We love you. Raymond loves you. (laughs) (laughs) I might be canceling shit. (laughs) Mr. Lowe.